This video is a part of my series taking a tour of Runway ML and experimenting with Runway's features. If you haven't seen the rest of those videos yet, there's a link at the top of your screen that will take you to the first one, and then each video ends with a link to the next in order. In this video, I'll share my thoughts on Runway ML, highlight some of the things that stood out to me as good and not so good, and then take a peek at Runway's newest model, Generation 3, which appears to produce some really good quality videos. Oh, and spoiler alert, I'm not signing up for a Runway subscription right now. That doesn't mean you should or shouldn't. Runway has lots of users and some may find it to be an excellent tool for their needs. I'm just not one of those people yet. I like that Runway has a bunch of cool features, lots of stuff in there to wrap your head around. It does have the lip sync going on and there's so many different ways that you can accomplish that lip sync. Also, their green screening, I like that it gives you some control over exactly what is part of the object you want to keep and what you want to get rid of. I think the motion brush is fantastic, and I wish I had some credits left in my free plan or free trial to show you some other things like how we want a car to move, or maybe we want a ball to bounce in a certain way, or all those things that we could be doing with the motion brush, and I have seen examples of that that look pretty cool. As far as the text to video generation, I understand now after trying it why we're not seeing a whole lot of demonstrations of that because it's just not very good. I mean, either that or I'm just a complete idiot when it comes to prompting, but I don't know how a better prompt is going to make faces legit or make morphing not happen. Maybe it does. I kind of doubt it though. And if it does, I feel like I should have enough free credits to get to the point where I figure out something very basic like that or a pop-up that says something. I did just, yeah. The runway is releasing a new generation, a Gen 3 Alpha, which promises to be really good. Some of these things look familiar from the Sora demos, but if it can create a video like this, that's pretty darn awesome. We've got a face that looks great. I don't see any morphing happening. The lighting is doing exactly what it's supposed to do in this situation. You got the train passing by and the reflections. That's awesome. Uh, this one, we have outstanding movement. I've got a clearer face through this spacesuit than what I was getting, just trying to have someone walking down the street. And the prompt that I see here is very simple, an astronaut running through an alley in Rio de Janeiro. So that should be super simple. So did you see the guy in the, yeah, right there in the store? I think there might have been a little, little bit of morph happened there. I couldn't tell if he was actually like uh, grabbing a shirt or if it morphed. So I don't know, there's probably little things to fix here, may not be perfect, but this is a whole lot better than anything that I came up with. Where'd that other dude go? I thought he was standing up here somewhere. Oh, that's interesting. All right, so some fun little Easter eggs there, but I could totally live with that and you could absolutely use runways in paint to get rid of those weird things that pop up. These videos look fantastic and if I could generate something like that, with just these simple prompts, FPV flying through a colorful coral lined streets of an underwater suburban neighborhood. I don't know who thinks of that. That is genius level creative, but it also came out really, really cool. Here we have handheld tracking shot at night following a dirty blue balloon floating above the ground in an abandoned old European street. Again, very creative prompt, and everything looks really good in this. I don't know why I couldn't even get a face, and I had somebody's shoes were disappearing and coming back. Look at this one. I, I don't know where we're going. We're going through a tunnel or a tube or something, and then we just pop out in this brightly lit uh, crop. This is awesome. Is that a crop or just a field of grass? I don't know. Now, according to word on the street, this Gen 3 is supposed to be released in the coming days. So not weeks or months or TBD like Sora, where it was announced. And then we've heard nothing more about when it's going to actually be available. We will definitely have to check back when Gen 3 becomes a reality and see how it performs. 
If there's anything specific in Runway that you wanted to see any of the AI tools that I didn't talk about specifically or demonstrate, please let me know and I'll see what I can do about making another video to incorporate those. I hope you found this somewhat helpful. I know we could not do a deep dive into every single feature. The limitation of trying the free access just wouldn't let me go that far. And it probably would have been many hours long because Runway does have a lot of features. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.